Dr. Andy Gibb, who struggled with a cocaine addiction and died of heart failure last year at the age of 30. There's a song on the new album called Wish You Were Here, which is getting a lot of attention. What's that song about? We were writing that song uh, subconsciously not knowing, uh, but it was about three quarters of the way through it, we realized that we were writing about Andy. And it was about a month after he died. And uh, when we realized that this was the song that we should dedicate to Andy. Never see your faces. Andy Gibbs' death was played out in the tabloids, publicity that made the tragedy even worse for the family. It's not so difficult for us to deal with than, uh, as it is for our parents to deal with, because um, we know what the newspapers are like and we know what people are capable of saying, and they don't really care about your feelings, and they just write anything that might be sensational. For instance, a reporter calling a newspaper near, where, near the house where Andy died, near the place where Andy died, called up the local the newspaper pub, yeah. and said, bad news, it was natural causes. Through personal setbacks and worldwide stardom, the Bee Gees say they have learned the price of success. Well, you see, the truth is, uh, the dream doesn't really come true, only for very few. Um, what I mean was, what we mean when we say the dream doesn't really come true, you don't end up living happily ever after. You always end up with some problems. Uh, you don't end up with the whole world loving you and everybody drinking toast to you and, and you getting all the respect you ever wanted. It doesn't really work that way. It's not being there that's everything. It's, it's, the, it's the trip there and how much you enjoy it. Standing. And it's, um, it's changed us considerably. We're not the same people we were before we lost standing. Um, he was very close to us. Uh, we miss him. Uh, we miss him singing with us in our own, on our own time. You know? mm. And uh, we, we recorded some songs with him before uh, he died, and um, those songs will come out on a, on a Greatest Hits album for Andy. You don't ever come to terms with losing somebody close to you. You get used to it, you don't come to terms with it. Yeah. If you lose somebody close to you, 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 um, you, you believe that they're out there. They're out there somewhere, you know, they're not, um, uh, they're not gone and they're not dust. They exist somewhere, and you feel deep inside you that you will see them again one day. Uh, I, I know that anyone who's lost somebody close feels the same way. And if that makes you more spiritual, that's fine. It's very hard to describe unless you've actually experienced it yourself. You, you have to really go through it to understand it. You have to lose a, a brother or a mother or a father or a yeah. sister. Yeah. And, I think then and it's know. harder for us to also yeah. appreciate my mother and father losing their youngest child. You know, yeah. that's a different type of grief in its own in a world. And it gave us an understanding of them. Where before, oops, where before um, uh, anything had happened to Andy, uh, we didn't really understand how parents feel about kids, even though we're parents. Mm. Until you lose someone, then you know. Fighting, fighting, and beautiful sound. That's the most important yeah, thing that we wanted to Yeah, acoustically, that's how we want to come across as, as, yeah. as really good acoustics. But the other real reason I was going to say uh, for doing all this, the reason we're so energized is because having lost Andy, our brother, uh, made us realize that we were that like him we were in danger of wasting what we had and not not touring and not giving out and sort of just making records and being a studio group and uh, we really are a live group and um, we haven't done it for about 10 years and um, it's time to make up for that time